Hey, welcome back to Beard Squid. In this video, we're going to be doing the sum of a quadratic sequence. Now, there was a video that I done last year, which was Veronica and Debbie intend to beat the world record for building a house of cards. As at the 1st of January 1998, the greatest number of stories achieved in building freestanding houses of standard playing cards was 68 to a height of 3.9 meters. So we went on to work out the quadratic sequence, which was un is equal to n squared plus 2n, which was the number of cards uh, on a particular story. Now, the mistake that we made here is that I worked out u equals 69, because that was a number of stories that they needed to break the world record. But that, that value there, 4,899, was the cards required just for the 69th story okay the cards required for the six nine story what we need to do is a summation of all the cards and that's going to be the number of cards that they need to break the world record now there's an easy way to do this it's just using excel okay uh, and i'm going to show you that right now so i'm going to jump onto apple pages or you can do google sheets or microsoft uh, excel and what we're going to do is we're going to list all the values here for the nth term okay so when n equals one n equals two n equals three n equals four all the way up to 69 so what we'll do is we'll highlight these values okay and then we'll drag this down all the way to n equals 69. So let's keep dragging this down. We need to go more. So let's keep dragging this. And then we can drag this down to 69. What we're going to do is, because we know what the quadratic sequence was, n squared plus 2n, we're just going to write here n squared plus 2 times n. Okay. And then we're going to fill up the formula here as well. So we can say equals, and we want to do n. So in this case, n is the first cell, number 1. So n equals 1. And then we're going to do square that plus 2 times n, n again is the number 1 here, and we're going to press return. So that gives us 3 for the first um, term of the sequence, we have the value of 3. Okay, and if you recall, in fact, what we can do is we, if we drag this down now, okay, we just copy that to the next uh, cell, we get 8 cards for 2 stories, and then if I keep dragging this down, you'll see uh, the sequence continues, the quadratic sequence continues. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep continue to drag this down all the way to 69. Okay, here we go, all the way up to 69. And these are the number of cards uh, that is required for each story of houses, okay? And this is what we worked out in a previous video, which was wrong, by the way. Um, and it's 4,899. That's the number of cards needed for the 69th story. What we need to do is a summation. We need to add all of these together. So what we'll do here then, we'll do... Uh, the sum of, and let's just quickly go and see what this is. This is D, it starts from, starts from D5 all the way down to D73. So we'll do D5 all the way to D73. Okay, and let's just press enter here. That should give us all, yeah, that should give us a sum. And here we see, look, we have the total now. So the summation of the number of cards from n equals 1 to n equals 69, we have 116,725 cards. So that's the easiest way to do it. It only took us a minute to set up the spreadsheet, uh, and then we got the summation of uh, the number of cards needed. Now, the second way I'm going to show you is to use sigma notation, uh, the summation formula. Okay, so we're going to do a couple of summation formulas here. So let's jump on to uh, the notes. And let's start typing away here. So what we need to do then is remember um, our sequence, our quadratic sequence, the formula for our quadratic sequence was n squared plus 2n. Now just because um, we're going to be using the summation formula, they're normally written with i, okay, this uh, variable i. So I'm just going to convert this into um, using the variable i, okay? So we've got i squared plus 2i. Now there's two parts to this formula that we need to consider. There's the i squared, and then there's just i on its own. And we're gonna be using the summation formula. So the summation formula that we're gonna be using is, okay, the sum of the variable i from one all the way to 69. Okay, we're gonna be using it for, let's just call this n for now. We're not gonna go all the way up to 69, just, just this minute. So what is the formula for i squared? So the formula for i squared is n bracket n plus 1 and then bracket 2n plus 1 all over 6. And we also need the formula, okay, you should be familiar with these formulas, for the variable i from 1 all the way up to n for this function i, okay? And the formula for that is going to be n bracket n plus 1 all over 2. 
So we need to add these two summations together to find out what well, the total number of cards required up to n equals 69. So one thing to bear in mind then is that i squared does satisfy the first part of that equation. However, i does not satisfy this. What we need to do is we need to multiply this by 2. So we're going to add this, the two summations together. Before we get into finding how many cards we need, let's just do an example so you understand how each one of these works, okay? So really, what we're saying is here, the sum of this variable i from 1 to n, let's just say n is 4, for example, where we have i squared, what is it equal to? Well, we're going to start from the value 1, and then we're going to go all the way up to the value of 4. So what we're saying is we're going to replace this i with 1. So when i squared, that's going to be 1 squared. And because it's a summation, because we're doing the sum, we're going to add... The next number here is going to be 2, so we're going to do 2 squared. And then the next number is going to be 3 squared and up to 4 squared because this ends on 4, okay? So what is this? This is 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16, which is equal to 30. Okay, so we should be able to now use the summation formula to get the same value of 30. So let's do that there then. What we're going to be doing is replacing this value of n with 4, okay? So we've got 4 bracket 4 plus 1 and then 2 times 4 plus 1, all divided by 6. So let's quickly work this out. 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 times 4, and then 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and that's divided by 6. So 4 times 5 is 20, 20 times 9 is 180, 180 divided by 6 is 30, okay? So we can see that that summation formula does in fact work, um, to give us the same value if we were just doing the sum of i squared. And then let's just work this one out as well. We'll do um, this one here. What does it actually mean? So if we're doing again uh, the sum of this variable i from 1 to 4, what does it actually do if this was i? So basically we're replacing the values of i equals 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, so that's just going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 gives us a value of 10. Okay, and now if we use the formula, if we use this particular formula to work this out, we should get the same value of 10, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the value of n with 4, okay? This part here. So let's do this here then. I've got 4, bracket, 4 plus 1, all divided by 2. Um, 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20. 20 divided by 2 gives us the value of 10. So you can see that by using the summation formula, we get the same value if we were to actually substitute the values of i into um, that summation. Okay, so now let's get on to actually working out how many cards Veronica and Debbie need for the summation of their quadratic sequence, which was n squared plus 2n, which is what we worked out in the previous video. Okay, so for this to work for our example, then we need to change the value of n to 69, because that's what Veronica and Debbie need. So let's get rid of this n and let's change it to 69. So we're going to start from uh, n equals 1 all the way up to n equals 69. So what we need to do is we need to replace these n's by 69, okay? So the summation of all these values up to n equals 69. And these are the formulas that we're going to be using, the summation formulas. So we've got 69 bracket, 69 plus 1, and then 2 times 69 plus 1, close that bracket, all divided by 6. And then we've got 2 bracket, 69 times 69 plus 1, all over 2, close that bracket. Okay, so let's simplify this then. We've got 69 plus 1 is 70, so 69 times 70 times 2 times 69 plus 1 is 139, all divided by 6, and that's going to be added to, we're going to cancel these lot out, because uh, multiplying by 2 divided by 2, it just cancels out, and then you've got 69 times, and this is 70, so I know that's 4,830, and then this is 111,895, so we need to add those two together, and when we do that, we get the value of 116,000, 725 cards. So I want to give a shout out to Mark Galustian. I'm so sorry, I know I've messed up your last name, but the reason I made this video is because he commented in the section below and he said in the previous video that shouldn't the answer to this problem be the sum of all the terms up to the 69th? 
you have just worked out how many cards are needed in the last row, haven't you? And he's absolutely correct. We've corrected it here, and there's two ways uh, to really do this, the summation of quadratic sequence. Either use um, a spreadsheet, which is really simple and straightforward, or you can use the summation formulas using sigma, sigma notation. So I hope that was helpful, and as always, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.